Hello everybody, this is Brian of The Music Man. I've been asked to uh, document uh, the cleaning procedure for the CCR82 computer cassette player. I've already ordered the belts and that for this, have gotten them in, but I'm going to start with how to open it up and do a quick clean and belt replacement of this unit that you see. There's several things that you will need to uh, make the job a lot easier. And that is a couple of screwdrivers, a little scribe, possibly even an exacto knife, also some Q-tips, and some good isopropyl alcohol for cleaning in that. So, let's get to it. It's very simple. You can usually do it in about an hour or so, as long as you've got all your belts and everything. And for that, you've got five screws to start with. You need to flip it over. It's best to work it in this uh, configuration with the little battery cover on the right. And you've got the five screws that need to be removed. You want to use a, uh, the smaller screwdriver, not a standard number two, but like a number one. And you also want to have a, uh, like a smaller jeweler's screwdriver too. And they're all Phillips. Nope. Well, screws are out. Very simple. You notice that in the four corners, you've got these four here. And then you've got this smaller screw here, which is a machine screw. It uh, actually goes through the circuit board here. And there's a small little fiber washer that you have to be careful about that doesn't get lost because that helps isolate between the uh, shield and the circuit board and you'll see that coming up okay and you just simply take and you flip back the cover after the, sc the screws are removed and you just flip it over and just like this here um, I have seen a couple different models where the wires might be arranged slightly different going to the battery case, but um, it really isn't any big deal here. Now, if you take a look here, this is the shield to help shield from RF and stuff like that and from stray signals. And this is the hole here that that little screw that was here went through and you can just see the little red fiber washer in there. You make sure you do not lose that in that. Now there's three screws on this board here that you need to take off so you can be able to lift up the board to get at the other two belts because you can see one here and there's a couple here. One of the screws are here the other screw is here, and then there's one hidden right up over in here. Also be aware that you got this little wire here holding these wires down. And this points out more directly this, the three screws I was talking about here, here, and here, the ones that are circled. And in blue, this is the main drive belt, and then you, underneath here, You've got a sub drive belt, and then underneath over here, you've got the counter belt. So, once you take those screws off, start with these two screws here. You can just kind of pull that back. It you, sometimes it's easier to just replace, untwist this wire here, pull it off, and remove those three screws. and take the wire off. This helps release these bundle of wires here to make it easier to move it around. And we're not taking the unit all apart, um, you know, to take the entire chassis out of the, uh, the plastic case. If you wanted to do that, you can, and we can cover that at a later time. Okay, so we have the screws out here, here, and the one that went up here. You have to also be careful that there's a little, right on top of this little metal bracket, there's a little star washer here. And as you can see right here, 
Here is that rubber fiber washer. You can just leave it in place. If it pops off, that's fine. Just don't lose it because you need to be able to isolate from there so that it, this shield does not short out on anything here. In that, you can always take a little bit of uh, nail polish lacquer or something like that and just tack it back down if you needed to do that. Okay. Now, what you're seeing here, just kind of lift up the board a little bit and you and it's tied down a little bit and this is the ground wire going over to the um, other part of the battery case and sometimes to make it a little bit easier is that you just release this little glue spot here sometimes this little tab that you see may break off it's not going to uh, be any uh, big deal if it does yeah, you know that you can always take a little bit of hot glue or something like that and just tack it back down when you're done if you so choose. Well, here this has lifted up the board, and as you can see, I've released this wire here to make it easier to pull up. And let's take a look and see what we've got underneath here. Well, here is the sub mate, the secondary sub belt here, and then here is the counter belt. All these belts, they look good, but they actually are not. They're stretched out, slippery. They're not staying and gripping on the pulleys here in that. So it's very simple to do. So, you know, as you can see, I already took the main one off, which goes to the motor back over in here. The sub belt, then you can take get that off and you can do... The third belt. Now the sizes on the belts, it's three different sizes. It, there's the main belt is what's known as an SCX, which has, uh, specifies that it's a square cut, and the X specifies for the thickness of the square cut. And it's an 8-inch belt. That's for the main belt that goes here. This here is an SCY. 5.0 exactly five inch belt this one here is an SCY 2.9 it's a little bit larger than what this original one is in thickness um, this one here it's a more difficult to find the uh, SCY series will fit on there just fine and with no problem at all if you can find a little bit thinner one you can do so after you remove these belts, it's always a good idea to take some uh, one of your Q-tips and some of uh, the rubbing alcohol. Clean the grooves carefully on these pulleys in here and in here and on the motor in this little guide wheel here. That's going to help make sure that you'll have good traction with the belt so that when it does grip properly after you put it back on, everything will be just fine and, and one of the things that you want to do is that when you take them off you know take the first main belt off take the sub belt off and then take the counter belt off and then just reverse the process i'm putting them on it will help if you're real careful to make sure that you don't twist the belt keep it as square as possible so that it's true all the way around um, it's going to make sure that it grips properly and it's not going to uh, jump off in that so and then once you uh, get the belts put back on it just reverse the process put the board back down take put the get the board completely squared back in and then flip the shield back up here you know don't forget to put this band back in place back here and you get the screws put back in place very simple so far now once you got it back together you can try powering it up make sure that it goes and it sh everything should go nice now now you have come some important parts this is actually lets it work correctly you have to make sure that using a q-tip and the alcohol you want need to clean the pin roller and the pin also sometimes known as the cap spin 
Of course, the playback head and the record head here. Here's another picture here that shows it at a different angle. A little more of a close-up. So the pinch wheel, the cap spin, the pin that actually spins, and that you want to make sure that it's good and clean. You can kind of see a little bit of discoloration and on the wheel and mostly on the pin. That needs to really be cleaned off well. So, and so you want to take uh, the alcohol, you know, clean this off here. Do it a couple times, you know, with it running in play so that it will spin. And then also in like uh, fast forward should also catch it, I think. But otherwise in play and, it, and you know, be careful not to let any of the fibers from the Q-tips stay on there. If it starts wrapping around, oh, that's fine because you can always t simply take and pull it up carefully um, and to remove it. You know, then, then take it, another clean Q-tip and clean the heads here real carefully in that. And then if you want to take uh, like uh, a soft cloth you know, with the alcohol and you know, just a, and that, or even a Q-tip, and just kind of clean some of the area up in here. It just makes it look better and uh, get some of the dust and stuff out. Um, and that's pretty much it right there. Then it, then uh, test it on your computer and uh, let it go. You know, it's very simple in that. And this is, you know, not for a real deep cleaning and pulling everything off. It's a little bit more involved to take everything apart. There's some other screws that you need to be aware of uh, to take off and that. Um, and then you can clean, get underneath the circuit board and clean everything up. But uh, I'm not going to cover that in this uh, episode here. So, well, folks, have fun. We can uh, get more tape players back into business and such. And uh, see you in the future. Take care, guys.